Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Germany. So, I know some of you guys were concerned about my level of sleep. I did sleep some here on Monday. I uh, got uh, about six hours of sleep, so that's pretty standard for me. That's the amount I like to sleep. Get any more than that, and I always feel overslept. Uh, so, so, yeah, I'm a little bit better rested for this episode than I was in the last few. It was just a crazy, uh, crazy few days there. I think I worked six days in a row, all like, you know, there's a couple eight hour shifts. Most of them were 10 to 12 hour shifts. Some of them were 14 hour shifts, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it was a. Uh, it was it was rough guys it was a rough uh week uh but i did get some sleep today i got the day off got monday off uh so yeah let's go ahead and jump into this first thing i'd like to take a look at is that we have named the paratroopers uh this is essentially just german for paratrooper uh if i was to attempt a pronunciation uh Fallschirmjäger. i don't know if i pronounced that right <laughs> probably wrong uh but yeah it's just it's just a uh, german for paratrooper uh but Three people suggested it. I typically go with something a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, just a little bit different than just taking the, uh, you know, the localized name of it. But since so many people did suggest it, I went ahead and named them that. I think that's fine for this particular campaign. Uh, and then the other thing somebody wanted to look at is how far along the loyalists were on their, you know, trying to take their decision so that they can, you know, finally flip over and uh, become fascist. And uh, one of the indicators is whether they moved the capital from Washington yet, which they have not. Uh, they still have the capital in Washington. I think that they're really short on political power. Uh, they haven't really done most of the stuff here. I don't expect them to join anytime soon, which is actually going to hamper our efforts here in Britain. And the reason for that is that across my many years of playing Wave 4, I've noticed that when you invade the United Kingdom, uh, usually typically right after invading them or sometimes right after they capitulate, the United States always joins the Allies. Uh, which is, is unfortunate, because then you think you got them defeated, U.S. hasn't joined the Allies yet, you defeat Britain, and you're like, oh, I'm done, and then here the U.S. comes, and now you got to beat them. And uh, that is definitely something to be concerned about, because if you look at the Loyalists for inviting them to the faction, you'll see uh, that they are not interested at all, because they would rather be part of the Allies. They have a negative 200 on interest to joining the faction, and that's because they're not aligned. Uh, not aligned democracies are going to be more likely to want to join the Allies, since they're a democratic faction. And they see us as a threat as well. So, uh, yeah, that that would be really bad. If we invade the United Kingdom before the Americans are on our side, it could result in them joining the Allies, which I have zero interest in. I don't know if that's coded some for somehow or something. I don't know if it's an event or the AI has been coded to do that, but I see it all the time. The moment I, I invade the British or the moment they capitulate, here comes the U.S. So I don't want that. That would mean that if the U.S. joined, because remember... Uh, China, which was one of the countries we were trying to get into our faction, uh, they did not join our faction. So if the U.S. doesn't join either, and they join the Allies, then essentially we gave up Italy and Japan for nothing. Uh, we didn't really get nothing in exchange for that. Uh, and I just ended up having to conquer more people than <laughs> one country I really have zero interest of conquering again. So, yeah, we're not going to invade the British until the, the Americans do their thing, and they're taking forever. Uh, I told you guys that the Americans were not going to be any help uh, in this series, which is why I felt that it was a fair trade, uh, trading Japan and, and uh, the Italians off, because I knew the Americans weren't going to be a factor in the campaign at all. Uh, I guess they are a factor, because now we got to wait for them, but, you know, they're not actually helping us. Uh, we did invade, successfully invade the Japanese, the northern Japan here, last episode, so hopefully we'll be able to get them knocked out soon. Uh, and let's go ahead and, and plan for that by getting a naval invasion planned, because we know nobody's going to be attacking here anytime soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a naval invasion planned up. Uh, we're just going to create, like, a separate army for this as well. Uh, I don't see any reason why we should do, you know, that army. Uh, probably just mess some things up. Uh, so we'll just give them a blue little icon here and, you know, show that this is going to be their sole job as a naval invasion. And let's see what we've got available here. You know what? I think I haven't given him because, yeah, he has the harsh leader trade. I really don't like the harsh leader trade. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a rough penalty, man. Yeah, uh, I don't think we've used George yet. No, so we use him, uh, and we'll go ahead and get a naval invasion set up. I'm going to do that now, and we're just going to invade over here so we can get Sicily conquered. I uh, haven't done it yet uh, because we uh, don't control the seas, uh, but I don't think that that's going to be a problem anymore at this point, so let's just go ahead and add 
few divisions over there. I don't know how many divisions we'll have to send. Probably that many. I think we have too many here now. I'm going to send these guys and hope they don't get sunk. I guess we'll find out. I guess that's a good uh, test to see if we can do a naval invasion with success there. Let's go ahead and send these guys as well. Once again, I'm not too worried about naval invasion. I'd like to get five divisions if I can. I don't want to leave this place too undefended though, so we'll take these guys. There's five. And then these ones here, we're going to send them on over to here, I had completely forgot about the two divisions we sent over here. I was just going to abandon this because there's no resources or whatever. I had completely forgot about this, guys. Uh, so, yeah, they have taken all the land here. And now our guys are, are surrounded. They still have supply through the port, though. So let's make sure we don't lose the port. We're going to retreat them back. So, yeah, you guys reminded me of that there because I did completely forget about it. The last thing that you guys brought up in the comments that we're going to address here now is somebody did notice. And I knew that there was going to be a spot that I missed. Uh, a spot where we can get some tungsten here. So let's go and do that. Oh, that's not ours. Okay, maybe that. Maybe I guess I didn't miss any. Yeah, because that was the one that somebody mentioned. And that is not ours. That gives it to Russia. Which, I mean, I guess, you know, I guess it gives them more tungsten. But yeah, if we were looking for their spots, they have other spots as well. They have tungsten. <sighs> yeah, I'm not really trying to give them more tungsten. It's not, uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to use my factories for. Never mind then, I guess. Nobody did notice any. Maybe I didn't miss any. Uh, there's one right there. Uh, right there. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's right there, but it's only one. So, yeah, we can't increase it at all. So, maybe I didn't miss any. Maybe we just don't have any tungsten. We'd have to, like, uh, either just keep trading for it or conquer somebody who does have tungsten. Uh, Sweden, Portugal, something like that. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to trade for it right now. Uh, I could see if we were having convoy problems, but we're not. Uh, they, they're so distracted with fighting our submarines that they have not uh, been able to really do anything to our convoys, luckily. Uh, so another person mo mentioned, you know, that I shouldn't be using the submarines here in the shallow sea because submarines suck. Uh, they suck in, in shallow sea, which is entirely true. As you'll see, they are uh, very visible. However, remember, our submarines have two roles. It's not just sinking the British convoys, which, by the way, they've done a fantastic job with. Uh, I feel like they are uh, they must be hurting on convoys at this point. Uh, we don't know how many they have total because we can't see how many they're using for supply and stuff. Uh, but they've got to be hurting pretty bad on convoys at this point. Uh, but remember, the other purpose of the submarine fleet is to engage the Royal Navy in battle so that our bombers have a better chance of you know, bombing them. Uh, so I did change up a few things with our, our uh, Air Force. I did send one bomber. I got a new naval bomber that's forming up over here, uh, naval bomber wing. He's going to provide naval strike mission over here uh, so that maybe in these type of situations we'll be able to get some air support. And then also I sent one of our tactical bombers, air wing of 100 tactical bombers. I think he were, they were in Asia at the time. And I sent them over here to bomb in Northern Eagle to the, do the port strikes. And maybe we'll we'll find some ships attempting to repair there. Uh, and then I also sent some airplanes over to here, since we could use a bit more assistance. I think this is where I pulled those tactical bombers from and moved them over to that new air base that we built, uh, since they were way down here. So they're moving now, because you see we're kind of losing. I mean, it's green, so we're winning, uh, but technically they're not not very high numbers. Most of these, uh, they did pull that back. I don't know how well that we'll we'll keep that. We'll have to see. Uh, let's take a look and see uh, how we're doing on these port strikes. Uh, it's just it's just a destroyer that we're trying to get sunk there. But uh, what I would love to do is some strategic bombing there with the tactical bombers. Um, fortunately, haven't really been able to to do that yet uh, because our tactical bombers have been busy elsewhere. Let's take a look here. Sunk some more convoys. Excellent. And I can't seem to close that. Oh yes, that's right. We got a an invasion going over here that we want to be watching. Uh, so it's going to take them a while to get over there. Uh, remember, I'm sending more troops. We're going to send them just a little bit at a time. Uh, there's a couple good reasons to do that. One, they don't all get sunk, and, and two, of course, uh, supply is an issue in this particular region. There's not a lot of supply. Uh, so hopefully they'll get over there successfully. It does look like those first ones made it, which is excellent to see. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that they're, uh, they're not quite there yet, but let's go ahead and send the next ones, and we would do, let's do the mountain troops. Get them going over there now. And these guys, once they get on to uh, the land here, then we'll send him over to here. Uh, and any moment, come on, buddy. There we go. Send him on over there. And remember, just trying to get all the way across here. It looks like we are having to battle somebody. Uh, they're attacking us right now. They're trying to stop that invasion. Uh, we are going to be able to push them back. I wouldn't be surprised if they had taken the railroads over there. Uh, so, yeah, they are having some good success there. Submarines are sinking some ships here as well, and so far escaping. Yeah, without any damage, so that's nice to see. Let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, battles here. We did sink a destroyer. 
uh, some more convoys and hit that port strike. Another destroyer sunk. Excellent. Losing a couple planes, but I think that it's worth it. Yeah, a lot of convoys being sunk throughout here, which is excellent to see. Uh, so uh, let me take a look at these guys that are training. We do have some that are done, uh, so we're going to want to go ahead and get them moving. Uh, these guys here, I don't know what their division design looks like, so we'll take a look at them. Look like they don't have all their stuff, but they have a decent template, but good enough to come on over to our hard army, I suppose. So we're going to want to take these two divisions in. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where, where we move anybody at this point uh, because here yeah, we're not not going to use them. Already. I'm just building them, and I don't even really need them. Uh, so let's just create a, a new army here and move them over to, I don't know, we'll let them hang out in Antwerp. And there you go. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Even though we should be sending our vets to go enjoy themselves. All right, so just waiting on this invasion to get across there. Uh, and we did get the new naval bombers here. Uh, so we'll have to get those building. Let's do, well, we're, I think we're done. No, no, we do need tactical bombers, but I think we have a research bonus for that. So we're just going to wait. We're going to wait to get that. Uh, could do air doctrines instead. looks like we're already doing air doctrines. Excellent. Uh, so another thing people keep bringing up is the MPs that we could use the MPs. I just don't want to spend 141 days researching that right now when we need so much other stuff. Uh, like there's like a ton of other things that we could be getting uh, for instance the tanks here we, we need to get those started in fact that's probably what we'll do with this slot yeah i think that's exactly what we're going to do uh, and i'm seeing something here we do have a bit of experience that we can make use of uh, for our tanks so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and build up the medium tanks uh, just give them a, a little uh little variant makes them a little bit better uh, they probably won't be able to use this new variant for very long but that's okay what do we wish us won't spend all of our experience let's go like this uh for right now because yeah i don't see any reason to put a variant out there that's not going to last that long yeah that'll be fine uh so we'll at least get a few of them built let's go and upgrade those uh, also let's write our planes here we want to go ahead and get them changed up and then the cruiser holes see i don't know why those are still uh, lighted up like that yeah that's fine not entirely sure why that's lighted up all right so we're almost across here should probably take a look at the situation elsewhere in the world. I'm just staring at that. Uh, that's right. We have this over here. We're getting more troops over there. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and give them a planning bonus as well. Make sure that they can get a planning bonus. And uh, we'll probably just let them attack us. Um, I don't know. Once we get those two divisions there, maybe we'll have a better chance. It does look like we're able to kind of just do whatever we want in the seas, which is nice to see. I wasn't too sure uh, how well we'd be able to move around the seas, but... The Allied Navy is extremely distracted right now. You notice that the Italians are advancing, or excuse me, the Spanish uh, are advancing Italian lands here. Uh, but it's not just Spanish, it's a lot of Romanian troops that I'm noticing now that I actually look at it. A lot of Romanian troops, so the Romanians are doing good. And more destroyers sunk, which is great because maybe our submarines might have a better chance against maybe some capital ships if we can really dismantle the uh, destroyer fleet of the allies. Let's, let's see what, how it goes there. Uh, so what else do we have going? That's right. So we're currently working on getting the uh, war goals here. I did do too many here. Uh, really, you only want to do one war goal at a time because every one that you do simultaneously does result in penalties in both time and PP cost, uh, power cost. Uh, but I'm fine with doing two and taking that, even if it's not the most efficient, but I never should have did three. I did three and that made this one take like forever. In fact, it'd probably be better to, to cancel it and then redo it later because it's taking that freaking long. Because Montenegro was the third one I did, and it's when you try and do three at a time, it's just ridiculous. So it'd probably be better just cancel it. I mean, if you could probably see if we did like another one, it'd probably be quicker. Yeah, it's even quicker if I did it now. Uh, but yeah, we'll just wait. We'll just wait until we finish up this one. It's fine. Uh, it's actually that's probably more quicker to do. The reason why I had done so many is just because I knew I was gonna forget about them. You, know, you guys already know. I forget. I forget, guys, so I decided to do it that way so that uh, I wouldn't forget. <laughs> it's not the most efficient, of course, but I thought it was fine for the moment. Let's go ahead and send some, some of these guys over here. And we're going to go ahead and put them over here. And so we have some fast units. These guys can now move. And we'll, we'll keep one division here uh, for right now while the other one goes up around. Try and cut these guys off. See what we can do there until we get the rest of the divisions over here. And so we should be able to get Japan knocked out. I... I I have no doubt that there's going to be a fight for it. I, I'm sure the Japanese have some troops here defending their homeland. The question is how many and how tough of a fight is going to be. I really couldn't tell you. Uh, I guess we'll find out soon. Uh, so they keep attacking us over here, and it's completely ineffective. Uh, so we'll see if we can't get behind them. But you, you 
can see that they are in a position where they might be able to cut us off. So we might, in fact, want to go ahead and attack them there just to lock them down for right now. That doesn't look like that's going to be extremely effective. Uh, in 23 hours, we get another division, so that's fine. As long as we can keep the fight going. Yeah, you can see the divisions just pouring into here. This is going to be a problem. So it's going to be a little bit tougher fight than was expected. This is never going to pop off. Uh, but we'll keep them planning until we get all these guys across, since it is taking a little while. Let's go and put the... You know what? Let's go and get a tank divisions next, guys. Assigned over here. All right, excellent. Let's slowly move them across and then eventually move them as well. But supply is going to be an issue, so we probably shouldn't move the other half until we've taken a bit more territory, guys. So let's just take a look. I just want to keep continue following these naval battles so we can see where we stand on getting the Royal uh, Navy destroyed. And I am losing my voice just a little bit. That always happens from work, guys. I talk a lot at work. Uh, so, you know, I work security. Uh, so I always got to talk to patients, I'm talking to patients all the time, coworkers. So I talk a lot, and so when I work a lot of days in a row, I find my voice, like, I find myself losing my voice all the time. So, uh, and plus doing all these videos for constant recording, so I guess I, I really, I just talk a lot in general, so, uh, yeah, it does cause some problems there. Uh, and we have bombed a larger fleet this time, and do a little bit of damage to them while they're in port there. Let's just take a look what happened over here, convoy sunk, okay. So yeah, we're sinking destroyers here and there, uh, British destroyers, and... Let's take a look at what they currently have. Yeah, we're reducing the numbers down to 190 something. Still not in a place where we can send our fleet out, our service fleet. I don't feel comfortable sending them out yet. We did just lose two submarines there. That's a shame. Uh, really, our submarines are only supposed to be here to help us out here so we can send troops across safely. Uh, it kind of makes me think that we should hurry up and, and get that done now because we're losing submarines, which isn't good. We do have four divisions here now. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to expand this a little bit because we could do so successfully, it looks like. Uh, so let's go ahead and send a division over here. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can't I don't really know how exactly we're going to do this, actually. I want to cut them off. Uh, we'd need to attack there to cut them off. Because remember, they don't have any ports all throughout this territory. So it wouldn't be difficult to cut off everybody over here. But with four divisions, I don't really know what we're going to be able to do over there. In fact, maybe we should think about cons uh, sending them another division. I was kind of trying to keep a few here, but yeah, it might be a bit right, more so than is needed. So let's go and send another guy over here. If we're going to fight them, we might as well do it like half effectively. Uh, and let's take a look here. Uh, yep, did sink four submarines. Uh, they did. Uh, the, the allies did. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, but last episode, the Spanish divisions, well, they, it looks like they lost the four other divisions. They had four more divisions here. But yeah, they had a, a, like 10 divisions here in Ireland. And they tried to do a naval invasion, and they got them sunk. Uh, and then uh, I don't know where the other divisions went. They either left. Which, in case, that case, they may have been one of those battles where the, we lost some convoys there. So, it is definitely not open for invasion, guys. Uh, even if we weren't in the situation where we had to wait for the Americans to, to do their thing over here. Uh, they do have the interventionism in Europe. Let's just take a look here what this does. Okay. Just kind of opens up the war plans. Uh, but yeah, even if we weren't waiting for the Americans, we still wouldn't be able to do an invasion. We just haven't done sunk their fleet enough, and of course we don't have the paratroopers. So just taking a look at the situation here. Looks pretty good. We're holding out there, and really just staying on the defense in, in that territory. Uh, here so far, I'd love to do some attacks if there's openings, and there is a few, so let's go ahead and, and, and take care of that. Uh, take advantage of these openings. Let's kind of push forward here where we see them. I care where this is completely unnecessary to have all these troops here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and have all these guys attack then. And then this guy can go over here. Might as well push it forward if they're not going to defend it. Uh, the Chinese are having problems defending their entire border, it seems. Oh no, we just placed that guy and he's already sick. Uh, so we did get our uh, air focus done, our air do doctor focus. Uh, do we want to continue going down it? I don't know. I know we need the tanks still. We are really behind here, so we should probably get the anti-tanks. Yeah, because I haven't been focusing on that enough. Honestly, we could also go ahead and get this one as well. That's 174 days if we use the experience. Did we get everything here yet? All right, not 1942 yet. And right, we're only doing one tech here. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start focusing on artillery and anti-tanks a bit since we are so far behind there. Uh, remember, we're still trying to lock those guys down when we wait for these troops to get here. One of them just got here. Excellent. Good to see. Let's go ahead and have one division going up that way, and that's fine. Let's bring the other division over to here. And then we're still waiting on these two, and we're waiting on that guy. And we got our tanks coming across as well. Uh, so just going to do this nice and slow. Uh, not able to pull this back just yet. It does look like we were... Oh, we actually do have to pull back. All right, we'll have to fight them there. That's okay. 
We'll let these guys here leave. Or maybe not. I'd love to cut them off here, but we're still two provinces away from doing that at this point. All right, we did get the improved artillery upgrade research. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue down here so we can get caught up. Since we are using so many artillery, it is good to make sure that we have the best text there. And those do apply automatically as well. We don't have to build tech there uh, for it. And yeah, we lost a submarine over here. Excuse me, we don't have to build equipment for that. Uh, so this isn't even in the channel. And we lost a submarine. Uh, so I don't think they have very many ships here at this point. Yeah, there's not a lot of ships in the channel. Uh, and I yeah, lost another submarine there as well. Uh, so it's actually here, which is ocean, that we're losing submarines and not in the channel. So yeah, I think, I think keeping them in the channel is fine uh, for right now. I uh, did a little bit of bombing there, and looks like we lost a plane. And I'm going to keep on looking at these because I'm trying to see what's left here. It's just that destroyer. That's pretty much all we're, we're bombing right now. And yeah, we're losing a ton of submarines. Uh, overall, the submarine war is not going well for us at this point in this episode. Oops, somebody capitulated. I didn't see who it was. Probably in Africa if I had to guess, though. I didn't see, though. Uh, I never did check of the Americas make sure that the Allies are completely pushed out of there. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like they are, with the exception over here. The Spanish haven't quite finished up here. Uh, but you can see them slowly uh, attacking and, and conquering people there. Uh, we are engaging troop convoys here as well. Uh, so that's uh, probably helpful to the Spanish in their, their current invasions. Uh, still successful here. Chinese are just throwing away equipment and manpower. Uh, so let's go and continue fighting here. And I'm surprised with the number of divisions I'm seeing, guys. There are a lot of divisions here. Uh, it does look like we'd win there. Let's go and put the motorized division over here. And the tanks are here, so let's go ahead and put, let's just put all these guys over here now. And then we'll get uh, these troops here moving. In fact, this is never going to happen, so let's just go ahead and delete it. And then we're just going to move them over because this is the closer port. Uh, so we want them in the seas for as less time as, as they can be. Uh, and in addition to that, we don't actually control this zone here, so that's something to consider as well. Let's, in fact, this is really where we're losing our submarines. I don't really feel like we need to do... Yeah, let's just pull these back here, guys. It's fine. I don't want to lose any more submarines. You can see we've already lost a bunch. Uh, so, too many. Too many submarines, guys. Alright, so let's take a look at the port strike again. And it's just that destroyer that we're trying to get destroyed. Looks like he's destroying them just as fast as he's repairing. I did sink a convoy there, though. Japanese convoy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and have these guys attack as well. And then let's have one of these divisions attack here lock those guys down so they can't get out and stop us from grabbing that province. I really don't want to attack across the river here, guys. But it's going to be imperative that we do. All right, so we're going to do this this way. Uh, we could attack there as well, but let's instead support that attack, make sure that we try and lock that down while we try and get behind these guys. This is what we're trying to do. Try and get behind them. Got another ace pilot promoted. Excellent. I don't think we have any other fronts we need to be concerned about at the moment. Uh, what war goals we have? Just the Norwegian one. Let's go ahead and have this guy support here. It looks like we did lose that battle, so they're going to get out. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and attack it this way. We did lose this one as well. Let's go ahead and attack again. And we'll send this guy in too, though it looks like he's going to have to go across the river. Yeah, this is a shame, man. This is taking too long. This damn battle is taking way too long. Damn it. We're almost there, though. And then we still got to get uh, that province there, Sapporo. And I don't know why that guy didn't. Let's attack here again. Looks like we would beat the one lone cavalry division. And we'll just kind of rotate these guys out. So that we continue, like, fighting and locking them down. While these guys attempt to get a damn win here. Come on, you guys can do it. We're almost there. Did get concentrated industry. Uh, so let's go after... Let's go after assembly line production. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that cut these two divisions off. That's what we were attempting to do. Uh, we still got to get this province here to, to cut that guy off. I don't, I don't think that's going to work, though, guys. Let's go and move here because you see that they're trying to reconnect them. Can't allow that. Uh, let's go and stop that attack because that's clearly not going to work. Let's go and attack with both of these divisions. And, yeah, I'm not entirely sure any of these are going to work here. Uh, what we'll do is this guy's trying to go there. Let's instead have him support that attack. It's going to take a while before they actually face the penalties from being cut off, of course. Now, we're still waiting on three more divisions, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have them take the railroads up here just so they get up there quicker. It does take them so long to get across there otherwise. And how are we doing on getting those divisions? They're almost here as well. All right, fantastic. Let's go and dip around the world, see what's going on. Uh, we did win there. Uh, they're doing a lot of movements there, so I would love to get a victory here, but 
we're gonna have to wait 17 hours to do an attack there. Uh, let's see if we can't cut them off. And we are bombing the British fleet in Asia as well. These guys might be ready. Ah, five more days. Five more days, they'll be ready. Still winning the defense here. We want to keep our eye on that. Let's take a look at the situation here. Uh, see if there is anything that can be done. Might be able to get some wins here. Uh, Beijing is open. Uh, it looks like our allies are already going towards it, but we'll go ahead and go as well. Let's go and go over here. Grab that province across the river. And once again, not going to be trying to advance in too much there. Uh, I'm not too worried about China. We'll concentrate on them a little bit. Uh, we'll probably pump a bunch of troops over there. Actually, I just want to get the Japanese knocked out first. Look at all these ships, man. I mean, we lost a submarine there, but I feel like the submarines we lose here in the channel or even over here are worth it for how many we're sinking, how many ships we're sinking. I mean, we're sinking a ton of ships, guys. Uh, just taking a look. You can see they still have a pretty good-sized fleet over here. Uh, just taking a look at what they got left. Yeah, we're dropping the numbers down, maybe 180 at this point. Uh, so definitely, they're starting to feel it, guys. Uh, let's go and take this guy here and put him into Heinz's army. And I think Heinz has some regular infantry divisions. I can put in that one right for right now. Once again, we're just swimming in divisions. This happens towards the end of the game. You're just like swimming in divisions and not even sure what to do with them all. Uh, we'll probably get another army uh, built up, I suppose. Let's place that guy over there. And again... Everybody's saying, thinking that India was invading our Russian territory. India doesn't connect to Russia, guys. Uh, now, they are invading up here, not from India, of course. Uh, but uh, they are invading from over here in Xinjiang. A lot of these are Chinese divisions. Uh, so I don't see any Indian divisions. I may be missing them. But, yeah, there are uh, a lot of Chinese divisions that are attacking up this way. Or there were. Looks like they might have pulled some of them. Yeah, they might be pulling them now, in fact. Not entirely sure, but I feel like our allies got this. I'm not worried about this territory at all. We don't even have to defeat them. Uh, we'll defeat China over here, and that's how we'll win here. And we'll do that after Japan. I want to get them knocked out first. That's kind of what I'm concentrated on. All right. So, uh... We, we did completely uh, lock this down now. They weren't able to take it. Uh, so, we're having some difficulty here, though, from what I'm seeing. Definitely having some problems there. Uh, yeah, those guys are going that way. Okay, that's fine. I'm down taking that there. And let's get these divisions here wrapped up. They are winning there, surprisingly. Yeah, look at that. Okay, uh, let's go and attack, because we're attacking across a river right now. Let's go and attack here with this division. And then this division will attack these guys. Looks a little bit better now. There we go, because yeah, they are actually winning here. Stay here, guys. Can't let them take that. That would cut us off from supply. Or we are sending troops there on the railroad, of course. And we're about to get these guys over here as well. All right, slowly getting it done. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that, that tank keeps trying to leave there. All right, so uh, after we get those guys wrapped up, we'll start pushing forward on over here. And there we go. Excellent. That's what I like to see there. Let's go and get these guys destroyed now. And let's place these guys over to here. And these guys just come over there. And then we'll attack over that way. And there we go. Let's go and have... Oh, wait till we get a few more divisions here. And let's just let these guys attack over this way. Alright, awesome. So we did get all those, those divisions there destroyed. That's fantastic to see. Uh, let's go ahead and send some more divisions. And we will send... I uh, will send a bit more than we've been sending. We'll send three this time. And then send them over. Now, we don't have our submarines up there to distract the enemy navy, so that's something to consider. Let's go and attack over this way. Should be able to push them back relatively easily here now. And just start advancing our, all of our troops. All right, just pushing the front forward. Okay, so there's going to be a lot more troops, though, uh, for them to you know, resist us. Uh, it's not going to be as easy of a fight as it has been in the past sometimes when Japan just doesn't defend their homeland, uh, which they typically do. There are a few divisions here. Some of these are Chinese divisions as well. Uh, but overall, they do actually have a defense here, uh, surprisingly. So we're going to have to do a little bit of fighting, guys. Uh, but hopefully it shouldn't be too challenging, and we'll get Japan knocked out of the war. Uh, maybe even this episode. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's go and attack. And excellent. Uh, that worked out well, and Japan did sign a white peace with them. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That's odd, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite strange. Are they still in the war at all? They are in a war. 
How are they not? Because Japan is in the Allies. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but let me just try doing a call all and see if that does any effect. Let's kind of dip around, see what we did, because we've been paying attention to the, the war over there. Still haven't sunk that damn destroyer. Uh, and they're bombing a, battle, a couple battleships there that are trying to repair. That's good to see. All right, let's see how we did over here. Sunk some convoys there. All right, so maybe sinking some troop convoys, perhaps? Because I know we saw troops over there. All right, are these guys ready? I bet they are. Yes, they are. All right, let's go ahead and try and invade the uh, Malay Peninsula and see if we can't get Singapore into our hands. That would really hurt the Allies. Uh, a lot of resources here, a lot of rubber there. It's going to hurt their uh, production quite a bit, I think. Uh, so these guys have finally moved. So now let's attempt an attack here. See if we can get a win. And we'll try and just go across the territory here to get them cut off and get them destroyed. It's going to be challenging to do, though, uh, if I'm being honest. I don't think this is going to be enough divisions to do it. It might be. I mean, we can do it, but it's, it's going to be a more troublesome than it probably needs to be. Uh, sinking a lot of convoys through here and still defending effectively there. I think we picked a good spot to, to defend at. I think they're going to have a lot of troubles uh, with us there. And we now pull them back into the war, so, yeah, their white piece didn't last long, uh, which is good because, yeah, there's some there's some weird stuff going on right here. We might need to help them there. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so, um, did we get across the river? We did not. Oh, that probably was a rough battle as well. All right, so we might have lost some troops there. That's a shame. Okay, well, they did have a port there, so let's just go and attack them. Try and get them uh, knocked back there. Not really paying attention to that front much. And they have all pulled. Everybody's been pulled back into the war. So whatever happened there, it's been it's been dealt with. It's fixed. Nobody done here yet, but you can see our paratroopers are now training up, which is excellent. Let's go and have everybody attack here. And we should be getting yeah, we need to get more troops coming over here, because I think, yeah, these guys are on their way now. Let's have them take the railroads over here. Go a little bit quicker. And we'll bring a few more divisions. And get even you know what? I want uh, some faster divisions. Let's do it like this. We're gonna get a little bit more riskier with the guys. In fact, hold up. Sign, and then go. Alright, so we're getting a little bit riskier with it, sending more divisions. So far, none of them have been sunk. Watch that be the ones that get sunk, of course. <laughs> it couldn't go any other way. Alright, let's hurry up and get over here with the fast divisions, and then let's send these divisions over here to lock these troops down, and even get a win, it looks like. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and start pushing behind these, uh, these troops here. I'm going to try and get behind them anyway. I might actually try at that point right there. I'll see how we can do. We're going to have this tank division wrap up this here. While this guy goes up the coast here. Okay. So that to see how we can do. Getting this done. Or having to do an attack there. That's why I sent them both ways just in case. So we didn't know how that was going to look. So I'm going to send these guys up over here. We were able to win there. Excellent. Uh, so now let's go ahead and once again attack. And I can't click that guy and attack that way. All right, so that's a loss, but it's okay, because the whole purpose of this is cutting them off, of course. We're going to grab that province and get them cut off. All right, got a lot more divisions coming up here as well. And we should have, yeah, we got those guys taking the railroads. These guys aren't quite here yet. Let's take a look at our naval situation. I bet we have some ships that are training, like some submarines that could probably put out into the world here. We could definitely use them. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take, and these are, oh, nice. We actually have a level three there. Oh, snap. All right. Uh, yeah, this is this is good. This is a good thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is take these guys, put them on over here, and then we're going to change up their icon, use the fleet cover, uh, color, and get them uh, helping us out in this region here. Uh, we're going to have them doing convoy raiding there. The Mediterranean is looking okay as far as submarines. We haven't really been losing a lot of submarines over there. We lost a few in Asia, but not enough to, to send over any replacements at this point. Really, just this is the zone I want to want to have submarines in. Uh, let's take a look and see how we've done over here. Uh, did get another destroyer sunk. Excellent. Uh, light cruiser sunk there. Okay. Two destroyers. Yeah, our bombers are doing a fantastic job. Uh, and still haven't made any progress there trying to get that damn uh, destroyer sunk in port. Uh, I don't. Maybe it's just not enough bombers. I don't know. Or just not having any effectiveness. We did win here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and send them out now. Uh, and I'm just going to act as if there's not going to be anybody here. I guess uh, there could be. So we'll have to see. And we're going to take uh, these guys and just get them uh, going. Let's get these guys going here. I'll kind of uh, react to that once I see how they're moving and if we have any resistance. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here. We were able to win here. Excellent. I uh, wasn't too sure about that one, but yeah, we were able to get a victory there. Uh, let's go and attack again here. 
Uh, looks like that's going to be troublesome. Uh, but let's go ahead and have this division go here. And we're going to need another division going up over here. Because clearly, we're not going to be able to defend that on our own. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the convoy sinking efforts. Pretty good overall. All right. And still winning that defense, though, just barely. Uh, so these guys are now cut off. Let's go ahead and take that uh, province there. And then we'll get working on destroying these guys. In fact, it's probably better to attack over this way. So let's send all those guys over there. Let's have them attack this way. And then we're going to, once again, just try and get behind these troops here. Attack them, lock them down, and try and get behind them. Uh, we'll do it all the way across here. That should let us cut them off. Uh, they're attacking across there. That's not going to work. Nope. All right. So you guys, I don't know where you're going. Apparently they are attacking the wrong province. Let's have these guys go up this way and them go that way. I don't know that we'll be able to lock them down long enough. It doesn't look like it. No. That's been ineffective. All right, so let's go this way instead. And we need to get more troops onto this front here. They're taking the sweet ass time, man. Uh, you guys gotta go to this one. Let's have them take the railroads. And then again, uh, oh, these guys are here. Let's have them take the railroads. And again, let's send some more troops. You know what, let's just send all these guys. I feel confident enough they can handle it. Uh, we could send them into that one. Oh man, that's risky. <laughs> it's pretty risky, guys. Yeah, let's just go into this one. Let's not get our dude sunk. That wouldn't be good. I uh, did get some more convoys sunk. Excellent. Taking a look at our troops and their movement here. Uh, so those guys are going that way. These guys should just be going across. And then we'll have this division take out that force. Uh, so this guy's going up that way. So let's have this dude go here, here, and here. And when that guy finishes up, he can go there. And, oh, I thought I had one more division coming up this way. Apparently not. All right, well, we'll take care of that. Here in a little bit. Let's get Singapore in our hands so that they're no longer getting the supplies there. They didn't leave anybody there to defend that. Uh, we'll continue doing the donations for the Loyalists. Uh, we did get the electric torpedoes. That is excellent because that reduces tor the torpedo reveal chance. So pretty good bonus for our submarines as well as for any of our torpedo cruisers. And I guess we should probably keep on working on techs here. I, I think we should probably design another ship as well with some of that experience that we have. Maybe we'll do that next episode because we, we got a lot going on. Uh, so let's let's get something here. I think we're working on stuff for our cruisers. We'd also do... I mean, I guess we're not really having submarine troubles at this moment. Yeah, submarines have not caused us too many problems at all. So let's instead just get a text... Like, let's get this armor scheme here. And we'll spend the experience to, to half the time as well. So we're only on extensive conscription. Uh, we have 1.28 million manpower left. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next military high command. We currently have Rommel here. Division attack and defense uh, has been increased. Let's take a look at our other options. Uh, so far, they're all experts with the exception of the one specialist here. Uh, just taking a look at... I, I think we had said that we were going to do division recovery rate and then the infantry attack. Attrition would be pretty dang good as well, considering the fact that we're fighting in China. Uh, China does have... You often have some attrition problems. So we could pump more troops over there if we had less attrition problems. Well, maybe that's what I'll do, in fact. Yeah, you know what? You know how many men we lose from attrition? I think that would actually be the smartest way to go. Uh, so, this guy's still trying to get over here. I almost want to just race towards Tokyo at this point with this division. I think we will. Let's go and attack this way as well. We need more divisions over there, frankly. Uh, so now that we have pushed these guys into this one little pocket here, let's get them destroyed. Okay, fantastic. All right, so getting Japan knocked out. Once again, I, I just don't think that Japan's going to be all that problematic. We're going to have to fight them all the way across. All right, British Malaya has capitulated as well. That means the allies are going to be pretty hurt on that. In that regard, that's that's pretty bad for them. Uh, yeah, they needed that. And let's just have all these guys stay in Singapore for right now. But we'll probably be sending them up here to, this, uh, pro to that uh, front because... We are uh, having some difficulty in the defense. We're doing pretty good having them throw away their manpower and equipment. They're taking attrition there as well. Uh, obviously, China's not really affected by the manpower. Uh, just showing you here, they've got one point something million manpower, and they're only on volunteer only. Uh, so yeah, they're not going to have any any manpower problems, but they do have equipment issues. Uh, they can have some pretty serious equipment issues. Uh, so let's go and get more medium tanks uh, building. And let's take a look here. All right, just thinking more convoys. All right, so let's go and tackle this way. Clearly, this is here is not going to work. I never did send my planes over here. We have planes that are here, uh, but they're not actually 
uh, on the island yet. So let's go ahead and do that so they have a better efficiency. Uh, and it's currently just 600 fighters and 400 bombers right now. Uh, Japanese aren't doing anything in the air though, so yeah, it's not really that big of a deal that we don't have very many planes here. Let's go and grab that little island over there. And let's just make sure all these guys are taking the damn railroads, man. Get over here. Help, help me out, man. All right, I'm waiting on them as well. Because right now it's just three divisions that are really pushing the front forward at this point. So I'm going to go across here. It looks like they're going to attack us there. Let's go ahead and attempt to attack here. Nope, not going to work. So let's go ahead and take that instead. All right, so the troops are starting to get over here now. So I'm going to grab that province. Uh, yes, that's right. I completely forgot that we're fighting over here. And there we go. We got these guys cut off. Excellent. Let's get them destroyed now. And we'll go ahead and start advancing the frontier. Uh, make sure that we're pushing, pushing forward here. And that guy's just going to have to hold the port. That's probably for the best. But yeah, I want to get all the way across here. Uh, they do have a few divisions here. Uh, and yeah, they're attacking there. It's not going to be effective, though. Okay, so I don't know that these guys will successfully make it if I send them out. But I'm going to do it anyways, guys. Yeah, I feel like... It's we can leave a couple here or leave one here actually. We'll leave this guy here. We do have to worry about partisans and resistance and stuff. And in fact, let me just take a look here at our uh, managing occupied territories. Let's make sure we're doing the lowest level for everybody. So we can get that political power up. All right, fantastic. Now remember, we're still working on boosting ideologies in Brazil, China, and Siam. So let's go and take a look at those. Right now, Siam's at 33%. China is currently at 60%. Remember, we're doing the coup there as well. Uh, and then Brazil is looking at uh, 35%. How much are we bringing per day? Only 0.62, so I won't do any more just yet. Did sink another two British destroyers here. Excuse me, four British destroyers. And we bombed them ineffectively again. All right, 20 convoys sunk there. That's excellent. 10 more there. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, Britain's going to be really easy to conquer once we get onto the island because their war support's only at 38.9%. Yeah, that is absolutely terrible. Uh, so it looks like their stability's not all that high either. It's a 50% uh, percent right now. Convoys are... The, the la loss of convoys is really affecting them. Look at their manpower. Their manpower is terrible. What are they on right now? They're only on extensive, though, so they can always change that up. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like um, we get this in this month, actually, don't we? Yeah, 27th of June. So, yeah, I feel like we'll be able to defeat the British really, really easy once we actually get engaged in that, that conflict. Uh, so we did lose here because they have 10 divisions. Okay. Yeah, a lot of troops on this border. Once again, I'm not concentrating on it, so I'm not going to... Can we get behind these guys? Though? We cannot. Okay. Didn't know if those two connected. I guess I should have seen that they don't. But yeah, I just want to focus on, on attacking here for right now. I think we can actually get Tokyo. So let's go ahead and do so. Let's attack over here and see if there's anywhere else we can launch some successful attacks. It looks like that would be a failure. And I think a lot of these are probably going to be failures. But we're going to do them anyway. Just like locking these guys down here so that we can try and grab that province. All right, so these guys are going over this way. Now let's go and take these two territories here. These guys are now cut off as well, so let's get them destroyed. Uh, how are we doing on getting troops here? Those guys are coming. Uh, these guys are still getting to the port there. We do have free dockyards, uh, probably that we just took from the Japanese. Uh, with the Congo, did we take to Tokyo yet? We did just take Tokyo, so we'll get a little notification about that soon, more than likely. Uh, so let's make use of their their dockyards uh, to. Well, well, we'll in fact probably do that next episode. Yeah, we're going to do that next episode. I'm going to build some some new ships, guys. Uh, we're going to get probably some more mine lane submarines. Might as well. Uh, newer ones, you know, since we do have those newer submarines. And then we're going to get another version of cruisers as well. And we'll probably stop the production of one of these submarine lines. I don't really feel like we need four lines of submarines going. Uh, just taking a look at our current submarines that are building. We do have one of the level threes done. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull him out. And... Didn't I have like a, I thought I had a fleet here for, for our level one submarine, or level three submarines. Maybe I didn't pull that guy out ever. That's a real possibility. I might have not been paying attention. Yeah, that's definitely probably what happened. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right. Uh, so this fleet here, uh, we're just going to leave him in port for right now. And we're going to get all the level threes going to there and give them just at least one more, uh, one more submarine. Uh, that's fine. It feels like we have a lot more out here now at this point. They're having a lot more difficulty sinking our submarines. Uh, those uh, uh, loss of destroyers is probably hurting them pretty bad as well. Just taking a look at the current number of ships, and they're sitting at 100 and maybe 70-something ships. 
And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to actually end the episode here, in fact. Yeah, I think that's probably a fantastic place to, to finish this up. Let's go ahead and push the front forward here, guys. And attack there as well. These guys. Make sure that those guys remain locked down until we can get them cut off over here. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, and let me just take a look. I guess we'll go through the world and take a look at all the convoys that have been sunk. And I guess that's it. That's all there is to it. Like I said, uh, those dockyards that we're going to be using to build some new ships next episode. We're also going to be able to get Albania knocked out uh, next episode, as well as Montenegro. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else to be concerned about, so let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties. Uh, we're at 114,000. I think we started the episode 101,000 or something like that, so maybe... 13,000 casualties or somewhere around there over the course of this episode. Uh, just looking at our allies, seeing a lot more here. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Spanish have lost a few more. Uh, we're only at 1.03 million total uh, compared to their 4.16 million losses. A lot of that by the British, 1.33 million. Quite a bit. Japanese, I'm sure, have lost a ton as well. Let's just take a look if we can find them here. Uh, India's 15,000 right now. Uh, 456,000 for China, 1.05 million for Japan, which is currently 42% towards capitulation. Uh, looking at this front here that I've decided to neglect, uh, they're winning. Uh, our side is winning even without my assistance. So there's no reason to pump troops over here and lose supply. We could bring another front, open up another front here, but once again, you can see attrition's a problem. Any more divisions we put over here are just going to cause further issues. Uh, so China's not the focus right now. Uh, we're going to bring some divisions over there, and I never did do that, did I? Uh, yeah, my bad, guys. I meant to send some of these troops uh, elsewhere. In fact, we should probably leave two here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think leaving two of them here would be uh, a good idea. Uh, so make sure we have enough to uh, suppress it. And then the rest of these, we're going to send one over to here. Because I think they could use another division to get that job done. And then the other two are going to come up over to here. Uh, nope, not that one. Excuse me. Over to here. <laughs> there we go. Get 12 divisions up there. And hopefully they make it successfully. Uh, over here we still have those guys moving there. We did wipe that division out. So that's fantastic. So let's go and pull those guys over there. We're going to bring this dude here. And... I don't think we'll be able to cut anybody else off here. And you know what? That's probably not a smart attack either. Let's just attack that way. There we go. That's what we'll do. That's how we're going to leave it off, guys. Uh, I guess we'll leave it off with the sinking of that destroyer. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Love talking to you guys. I do read and reply to all comments. And uh, yeah, again, hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching.